evening and thank you for joining me tonight. It's been a while since I made a hairbrushing hairstyling video and I wanted to make a new one quite similar to the 18th century version I made last year. But this time I will show you a simple hairstyle that I really like and that I made for my Edwardian roleplay, typical of the beginning of the 20th century, with a lot of volume, very elegant, and sometimes known as the Gibson girl hairstyle. So, let's dive in. For this, I will use my trusty wooden brushes and, of course, a comb. Something to part the hair. Of course, many bobby pins. some kind of hair pad, hair rat I made using an old stocking stuffed with rags. It's very easy to make. I just sewed the two ends to give it this crown shape. And it's better if the color is similar to the hair color, of course, but you can also wrap strands or hair extensions around it, so it will perfectly blend with the natural hair. If you have thick and voluminous hair, you may skip the hair rat, but if you have long or flat and thin hair, just like I do, this will help to create the volume. So, tonight I chose another hair doll I found second hand. This one doesn't have a name yet. And this is natural hair again. And look at this color. It is gorgeous. It almost looks like there are some gold threads in it. And I don't know, I think she has a very pretty 1910 face. What do you think? And as you can see, the hair is not in good condition because I used this doll head for a shampoo scene in a roleplay and I haven't really taken care of it since that day so I will give it a good brushing and then we'll start the hair styling. 
But first, I'm going to gently detangle the hair with my fingers. And if you're doing this on someone else's head, this is the perfect time for a scalp massage.
smooth hair to walk with and now what I'm going to do is to part the hair on the top of the head creating a circle through just like a kind of cone shape Here we go. This is the part I'm going to keep for the final bun so it won't cover the hair rat. All right, tying it on the top and let's focus on the rest. Now I'm going to place the hair rod on the head, just like this. And I will cover it with hair strands. And I'm going to tease each strand for more volume. Let's take the first one. Back combing. to pin it with a bobby pin just behind the hair rat.
that's it. I'm going to do this all around the head, strand by strand. At the end, I will arrange all my strands to be sure there will be no gap. So now let's keep going. Third strand. Let's do the other side. Just like the others. Teasing the strand.
I've covered the whole hair rat. Now it is time to play around with this hair crown to shape it as I want it to be. Making sure we can see the hair rat Add a bit of hairspray as well. Make the final bun. There is no rule. You can simply roll the hair or take small strands and curl them. And I think I will simply roll it and then spread it out kind of fan shaped to achieve the biggest volume I can
humbing again. And here we go. in the pen Now let's shape our pen Putting out some strands All right, it is not as fluffy as I wanted it to be on the top but I think it's quite good so this is our final result and you could add ornaments if you'd like like feathers, flowers or combs but usually for morning or day styles it was kept quite plain and ornaments were for dinners, evening balls, parties. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now it is time to sleep and as always I wish you a very good